Hi guys, woke up today feeling really groggy. Not really, really nice at all. Um, been sleeping a whole lot of the day. And I uh, found out when I wanted to edit yesterday's video that I lost a lot of footage again. Don't know what's happening at the moment. I think I need to just format my Mac and then set everything up again. A little bit annoying when something plays up like that. Yeah. Gosh, I feel a little bit like drowsy. So how is you guys Easter if you celebrate that? Um, personally, I, as you know, atheist. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hanging a religion and I don't celebrate Easter. Um, but we did went home to my parents and had that nice dinner because my mom and dad wanted to see us. So we did that. But that's about it. Um, yeah. Nothing else. Paul has taken Sally out to the beach and um, took her out for a swim. Unfortunately, there's a new rule in Denmark. Denmark is getting really anti-dog. Um, you can't walk any public places without the dog being on a leash. You can't take him to a park or a forest without a dog has to be on a leash. Uh, or dogs not even allowed. And now a new rule has said that you can't take your dog on the beach from the 15th of April till some date in October without them being on a leash. I mean, come on, I mean, I, I don't understand why this country has to be so anti-dog. Um, and what I find it like, it's basically everything in Denmark, everything which is fun and where you can enjoy yourself, they're trying to make it legal. Um, I know that we have a very, very good social security system here. Let's talk some serious. I don't know if we have a very good social security system in Denmark, but don't forget we also pay about 43 to 45% in tax. So half of our money we earn are going straight into um, all that social security. And, and it's a high price to pay because a lot of people don't use it, never use it. Some people are never sick in their life. A lot of people aren't. And um, then we have other people which constantly are sick and needs all the attention, which you can't blame them for. I mean, if they're sick, they're sick, and that's just it. And it's nice that people can get the help they need. But I gotta say, the way Denmark is going at the moment, the country, how it's running, and I normally never speak po po uh, about politics and stuff, guys, you know I have no interest in it. But I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed and thinking that the American way where people are going to pay for a very good health insurance themselves, just to cover them. Like if I had to go and buy one for myself, I had to get myself health insurance. And if I pay for that, I would be insured. I can go to hospital, I can get treatment and stuff. If I didn't get that, tough luck, I would end up with a big bill. Um, and that's how I, I actually think it's a better idea in some ways. Um, I think there should be like a minimum um, health, security, health insurance, like if you say you have some sort of disease which really takes a lot of expensive treatment, all right, that should be something ne somewhat negotiable for having um, coverage from the state, um, like cancer treatments and stuff, they're really, really high. But normal things, like if you break an arm, if you don't have your insurance, tough luck, you just gotta pay what it costs to get your arms fixed. That's just my point of view. I think it's silly that we have to pay for all these. And also, we have a lot of people here in Denmark who's not interested in working. Um, like me, for instance. Just take me as an example. Um, the council can't put me out to work now because I still have all my sleep problems. Um, and they can't figure out what's wrong. And I was actually supposed to be submitted to a sleep lab, which I haven't been yet. I don't know why I never heard from them. Uh, I better contact them again soon, but that's all the council running that. They wanted to put me out as a street sweeper, like street and stuff like that, just to get me to do something. I mean, well, the unemployment benefit I get right now, which is like a normal benefit, um, if I went out and did that, I had to pay for traveling back and forth to work, and I wouldn't get more paid out than I do now. So it's like, you don't blame people for not wanting to go out and take these jobs when you're not getting paid more for it. I mean, there has to be like, some sort of reward more than what you get now um, yeah but definitely I love to move away from Denmark just to try something different I moved to Sweden but Sweden has very similar rules to Denmark in many ways and when I lost my job while I lived in Sweden I was told by my Danish union because I worked in Denmark and I had a Danish union I said yes but you, you only live in Sweden you work and pay Danish tax so you had no problems with the union 
Right. So I trusted that and moved to Sweden and kept doing my job for about three years. Then I lost my job because a finance crisis was sitting in. It was like a bad timing for me to get a good job, which I really liked. And then I lost the job and the un- union come and said, oh, well, you live in Sweden. You're not covered. And I was pissed off because I paid for that union from day one I started working there. And that was about 100, 120 pounds a month um, for just a union. So um, I didn't get any help. I could just suck myself and that's why we had to move back to Denmark. If my union would have covered me, I'd probably still be living in Sweden. All right, but um, enough rambling, guys. I'm going to catch you all a little bit later. I'm going to have a cup of tea now and just try to become a little bit somewhat human. I feel really groggy. I have done absolutely nothing today. Boring. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, guys, I haven't done anything. I've just been lazy, lazy, lazy. Done nothing. Watching a lot of YouTube, catching up on channels I used to. I'm so tired. Really annoying being so tired, and I'm gonna have a shower shortly and go to, ta- to bed again. Yes, and tomorrow it's a holiday again, so I can't do anything, which sucks because I wanted to go to the post office, ship some stuff off, and uh, what else did I want to do? Can't remember. Yeah, but no, honestly, I've been really, really in slow mo mode today, completely. I haven't, I haven't even touched a kendama, a fingerboard. I've been outside a few times, but only just out in the yard. That's it. Um, yeah, I just had like a, a onesie day, cuddled all up in my onesie and just been lazy in front of the computer. Really sucks. I should have, I should have been out more. I think tomorrow I will do a lot more. <sighs> so tired. It's annoying. Can you see my eye twitch? Weird. <laughs> Feels funny. I don't know what else to say. I feel... Bit the same as I did earlier. Still a little bit groggy. Very tired, you can see. Oh. Thumbs up if you yawned at any point in this video. Maybe because I yawned, or because you simply just find it extremely boring. <laughs> Quite a few of you have also um, told me that I should look into a Phoenix scooter. And I went down to the website, and I'm like, Oh my god, they cost a fortune! They're really, really expensive, but um, I don't know. Um, we'll see if I'll eventually save up to something like that one day. Um, but they look very good. I gotta admit that. Um, but again, I haven't got. Gosh, stop yawning! <sighs> Crap! <laughs> I'm so tired. I can't believe why. Um, it must be catching up with me all my late nights. Serious note, guys. You know how much I want to go to Fast Fingers and I'm really trying to save up money for it and um, judging on how the plane prices look to fly to Germany and then get the train from München to Svartabur Oh come on! Sherry? <sighs> Bloody hell! <laughs> I can't remember you only that much but getting the train from München to Schwarzenbach, where, where there the event is gonna be. Um, yeah, I, I, it seems like I can afford at least the flight tickets to München, and then um, a train ticket to the um, to the event in the Bavaria area. And then on the way back, I don't know what to do yet. Um, if I should uh, go back to München and fly home. Or if I should take the ASI bus, if that goes again this year, and from Schwarzenbach to Berlin, and maybe crash a day or two in Berlin and then take a plane home, or just go to Berlin and fly straight home, I don't know. I'm still looking into that, but also, because I found out that the amount of money I just had in now from the fingerboards I sold recently would cover six months of membership in the gym, which I really wanted to do. And um, I can't really make up my mind. What do you guys think I should do? Leave it down in the comments below if you think I should um, get the gym membership and get going and lose some weight and get more fit and have a have something to do every day. Or should I just um, spend the money on fast fingers? All right, but I'm yawning my bloody head off. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry for a lame ass vlog, but um, hopefully I can make up for that tomorrow and maybe some more days. Ah! Oh yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace, love you all. Hope you have a happy Easter. Good night. So guys, I've just been to the post office 
home it's Sunday, and I was like 10 minutes past one. And Denmark has the stupid opening rules. Um, normal, like, post office closes at 12 o'clock on Saturday. So after 12 o'clock, I can't send anything until Monday. But